Well, more than 1,200 children have died of suspected cases of measles and malnutrition in Sudanese refugee camps between May and September this year. And that's according to UN agencies, which also say that thousands more, including newborns, face the risk of dying by the end of the year. The agencies say 55,000 children are seriously malnourished and urgently need treatment. We are joined by Osman Abdel Karim, the head of child protection at Save the Children in Sudan. Osman is joining us from Khartoum. Osman, welcome to the program. Thank you for joining us. Joining us, Osman, how bad is the situation in these refugee camps? Uh, thank you for hosting me. Actually, the situation is uh, very uh, bad. Uh, that because these camps uh, is not planned uh, like uh, properly to host these people, but rather people fleeing the areas and they go and reside on like empty schools or any institutions that's empty. So in such situations, uh, services are not uh, properly uh, reaching to the people because this also depends on the number of people who are occupying that place and the situation is actually very worse. Besides that, uh, many of people are still reside in Khartoum and there is no humanitarian support to, to them. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of support, Osman, what are organizations like yours doing to help deal with the situation? Um, we have uh, different efforts and we have multi-sectoral kind of support to different refugee uh, IDPs in different uh, locations. Uh, we do like uh, mobile clinics and we provide uh, wash assistance to in the gathering sites where the IDPs are resided. We also provide like uh, uh, protection services like psychosocial support to those who are uh, witnessing the, the killings and the atrocities. Um, we also provide like non-food items and we provide drugs like two weeks back. We have managed to bring uh, 20 tons of, uh, of drugs, which is mostly for the primary uh, diseases or uh, uh, primary health care support. It's going to be distributed to all the clinics where we are operating uh, in the areas where we have access to, to, to those uh, IDP gathering sites.